So welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Gerson Sendano and thank you very much for joining me as usual. So if you are a returning subscriber, thank you. But if it's your first time here, please let's grow this channel. So go down in the subscription you know, box and then subscribe. You can also click on the bell for notifications. So every time I post a video, you are notified. So today we are going to look at uh, 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 we are going to look at similarly still with the same subject we are going to look at drilling oil drilling in Namibia but this time around we are not going to go to the areas where the exploration is taking place but we want to look at how companies that are drilling uh, carbon hydro I mean hydrocarbon are helping I mean particularly Brecon Africa is helping out the community so that's what we're gonna do today uh, in the international media, you hear reports such as, you know, the destruction of the environment, but they hardly talk about, you know, the livelihood of the people who live in this part of the country where the oil exploration is taking place. So that's what, it, that's what I find pathetic. When you come here, apart from caring about the environment, you should, you should also care about how people survive here, what they eat, whether they get everything that they need in life or not. So what we are doing is... You know, we need to contextualize what is happening here. So we're going to go, I will take you slightly in that direction. It probably take us about a four to five miles uh, in that direction to find out, you know, the, the borehole that Brecon Africa has drilled for the poor community in that area. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. Like I always say, my concern is the environment, but my concern is also um, you know the the well-being of the society the well-being of the people so that's exactly what we are doing it's to go investigate find out what Brecon Africa has done to the community apart from the drilling because the international news channel hardly tell you about what this company is doing to help out the poor people you know out there they hardly do that so it's only on this channel where we investigate. Apart from drilling, where we know they are not destroying the environment, it's just about a hectare, two hectares, where they have cleared the bushes. They are all. They have also committed themselves to helping the community out there. So this is exactly what's happening. So let's go. So I've stopped somewhere here to check. Uh, there's a lake. Uh, if you look at behind me, very beautiful. So if you see in the distance, you, I don't know if you can hear the sound of the birds, you know, chirruping in the distance. Uh, a very beautiful uh, small lake here. I don't know if you would call this a stream of water, but it's beautiful. So you can see behind me, uh, over there in the distance, probably this must be about, I don't know, maybe, one and a half hectare area of water so that's that's the situation right here now in the direction where we are going to find out where reckon africa has you know drilled borehole for the community still in that way so we're gonna go in that direction so but i, I just needed you to see this uh look at how beautiful it is behind me with the sounds of the birds you know twittering and chirping in the distance what a contrasting beauty the sun shifting to the far corner of the sky and over there on the horizon the sounds of the birds chirruping and down here water and in the open space the wind is blowing it's a fantastic environment so let me show you a bit of the lake and then we proceed that's the lake over there so you can see in the distance uh, there's the sounds of birds, you know, chirruping in the desert. I don't know if you, you can hear that. 
look at look at the birds over there in the distance so there it is there it is so the lake uh, is reasonably deep you can't mess around with the water here so it's it's very dangerous so but that's how beautiful it is and apart from that there's also water on the other side so but this is the situation i hope you have enjoyed this lake so we gotta go and find out the drilling of the borehole so let's go so behind me you can see what recon africa has done to this you know community so a lot of poor people here cannot afford to have water you know the, the distance from here to the river is probably about two to three miles away that's where the river is and in most cases the water from the river is not clean and that's why recon africa you know out of out of its responsibility to look after the poor to look after you know the weak has decided you know to come and uh, drill a borehole for the community so you can see behind me this is exactly what's happening so these are things that cnn will never tell you cnn will never tell you that this is what reckon africa and any other company that's drilling or you know exploring oil in this part of the country so i told you um, we hear stories about you know uh, environmental destruction you know the destruction of the ecosystem you know some re report came out in the united states where you know uh, we are told about uh, the geographic channel apparently the rep their reporters came here and then reported about the destruction of the environment nothing is true in that report so but I would have expected the international media to tell you that this is exactly what's also happening on the ground so done by reckon Africa here in northeast part of Namibia in Africa but you'll never see stories like this on the international news channel so that's what makes my mind boggle so I don't understand why they do that but this is the situation on the ground so if you come here uh, heat from me as a Namibian so this is exactly what we got and this is exactly what you know reckon Africa has done for the community not only this not only this borehole here a couple of them so let me just explain let me contextualize this properly for you what happened in Namibia you know in other country take Nigeria for example is divided in states United States also divided in states and then you have counties and then within those counties now in Namibia what you have is you have political regions now these political regions Kavango East region where this borehole is is regarded as one of the poorest regions in Namibia so but what Recon Africa has done is within that political region it's divided into constituencies okay like counties in the United States now this is a Rundu rural constituency but in every constituency Recon Africa you know drilled boreholes for the community so these are things that will never come out of the international stories and I would want Recon Africa itself to improve probably its uh, communication strategy on how to make itself visible and some of the projects that they've been doing to help the community apart from creating job opportunities apart from providing you know life uh, to people I mean apart from providing opportunities and livelihood to those who have difficulty getting jobs remember our economy in Namibia was battered by uh, the pandemic so as a result a lot of people lost jobs a lot of people lost um, their small businesses were closed down horticulture activities everything were everything was everything was closed down so but now this has come as a relief not only that they are going to quench the community's thirst but it also means now you can have you know agricultural activities such as horticulture you can see in the distance uh, there is uh, maize crop uh, corn there's a corn field if you like so all thanks to reckon africa so this is when we talk about oil exploration in namibia we're not only looking about we're not only looking at the drilling itself of the hydrocarbon in the ground but we're also talking about some of you know economic i mean some of the responsibilities companies have towards the community like drilling borehole for them so apart from drinking so the community now can easily grow gardens around this uh, borehole and then make life a life for themselves so let me show you um this is where the tap is so if you can just if i can just take you where the tap is uh come let me show you at the tap you can just follow me uh, so 
You have the tap here. Just get closer. Okay. Uh, you have the tap here. Um, so this is this is when I talk about drilling, we're not just talking about drilling by showing you the the dam. So you also have water. So you got water here. Uh, this is the water from the ground. Let's see. Very good. So you can see the water dropping out of that. And like I said, the distance from here to the river is probably about one to two miles away. So it's not easy for these people to carry a, you know, a big container to go to the river and get water. So they come here and get water. So you can see um, the availability of water. So these people can easily access water. So the situation is exactly what you see, the way it is on the ground, not like what the international media portrays. I'm sure the international media will never come and show you this that's what that's the difference so on this channel we tell you nothing but the truth we go out there find the truth find nothing but the truth so that's what we're gonna do and uh, so uh, I'm going to explain further uh, and tell you exactly what's happening in this part of the world but this is one example of reckon Africa's commitment to the community so now the community can come and get water what else should I say for people to understand that when you come here, it's not only about the environment, it's about humanity. It's about the responsibility that a company has, commitment to the community, commitment to humanity, commitment to looking after those who are weak, who can stand for themselves, can defend for themselves. So you got a company whose job is not just drilling, but also to look after those who can't look after themselves. That's what it is. Okay. Um, as a result, I got a container here. I need to fetch water. Uh, I need to put water here um, just to show you um, what exactly. Not only that the community is getting water, so I'm also getting water. So um, I got a container here. Very good water. Interesting. So that's why it's imperative that when we talk about the issues of development, sometimes we got to bring in the element of humanity. You see, we don't look at um, development only through the lens of environmental issues. Um, we recently have seen in the media that Namibia has discovered, you know, second, I mean, this is probably the third, uh, I think the second discovery offshore. It will be a good news going forward. So this country needs development so much. And now that the, you know, the, the issues of war taking place between Russia and Ukraine, that war will have ripple effect and smaller countries such as Namibia, particularly in Africa, will be the hardest hit by the rising of prices of commodities, I mean, such as fuel. We don't produce oil, I mean, Namibia, we don't produce oil. We import oil from South Africa. We spend roughly around 800 to 700 to 800 million US dollars just to get oil from South Africa. I mean, wouldn't that be great if this nation discover its own oil? I'm an environmentalist. Like I always say, I've written a book about environment, about climate change. So I know when the environment is destroyed. But here you got you, you got two situations. One is environment and the other one is also looking after the poor. So that's what should be taken into consideration. As usual, I got your back. So uh, let's keep exploring this part of the country. So thank you for watching and if you are new please subscribe and if you have already subscribed thank you for joining me. So that was Reckon Africa and that's exactly what's happening on the ground. So as usual know that I got your back. Big ups. Thanks.